Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the UK Northern Powerhouse on Transport Fever 2. This is going to be episode number 62 in the series and in this episode I want to head over towards Leeds, towards Leeds and Bradford because I never really finished the route into Bradford Foster Square and I don't think I ever electrified the route from Leeds up to Skipton and I think Leeds also needs another blay, a, blay, a bay platform as well for the couple of services that I want to put on. We're currently on board this Manchester Airport to Blackpool service, uh, just departed Bolton on the way up to the West Coast Main Line and as promised I've got rid of all the horrible gouges, done a little bit of terrain work so it looks looks a lot better. Hopefully you'll never never have known unless I'd said now that this was a big ugly gouge. done a little bit of terrain work with the manipulator that lets you do some contouring, make it look a little bit more interesting. I've turned grass back on I had turned it off for a long time because I just it annoys me that it's in the middle of the track like that and I haven't got the patience to go around and paint out all of the uh, the grass in the middle of the track but I just found that it just without the grass it does look a little bit lifeless and um, a little bit uninteresting I'm still we're on board a train times one speed and we're doing 30 frames per second managing 30 frames per second so uh, I think it can handle it. The graphic settings are down to about medium to low because we are. It is my computer's starting to struggle a little bit now, especially when I'm moving around the map. But yeah, the, the grass down the middle of the track annoys me. But it does, it does add something to the terrain. I think a little bit more depth. So I've turned that back on. I might at some stage possibly go around and paint over some of the grass, maybe on like the West Coast Main Line, the East Coast Main Line type thing. Possibly we will see. So yeah, that transition there, that uh, that is a big bottleneck on the West Coast Main Line. But there's not a huge number of services actually going up and down on my particular playthrough anyway. And I think I've almost done all the services. I think there's, there's only one more service, which is the, what is it, the Windermere to Manchester Airport service. Obviously we haven't got Windermere, but it's going to be that service in place. So yeah, it is getting a little bit busy. I'm not sure actually. I think that's it for the West Coast Main Line. I think we've got most of the services on the Northern section anyway. We've got the Avanti service. We've got all the Transpen and Express services. Just need to build the route up to, up to where, are, where, where are we going to? Where are you? I've turned, I've turned the town layers off. Hood icon, we'll put towns back on. Nope, that's not the one. That one. That's the one. Yeah, uh, Transport Fever World did suggest in the comments turning off some of the hood icon filters just to help with the FPS a little bit, but I turned off town names. <laughs> so there we are. Kendall. Yeah, Kendall is the needs connecting to the West Coast main line at some stage, but that's for another day. Maybe even off camera because it's just a short section of track. What I want to do is head over to... Ooh, it is just when I'm, when I'm moving around the map it does struggle especially when I'm zoomed out it does like a few frame drops and things like that first things first though is we want to add a couple of bay platforms to Leeds now there's buses in the way already uh, let's just delete all of this and I've put this road back in the game is paused isn't it so I do need do need that as well need the bus stops I think yeah so what we're doing first is adding a couple of yeah i think i'll definitely add a couple of bay platforms so we're using platforms we're using the nl platforms we want to put another one nl platforms another one down the middle for capacity and do i want shall i add two it just adds to the complexity of of this junction which is already more than complex enough but it would yeah it'd look a little bit odd i think with uh with just one so we'll put we'll put two on and we want the nl down down there probably might even get used actually because we do have quite a number of services actually turning round and going back passenger building at uh, these bay platforms so they might all get used anyway uh pass uh, pa, 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 what we're we doing canopy Can no nope, that's it's misc isn't it with the nl is it yes right so chuck a couple of these on here actually having said that i've got ones at the end of the platforms, I don't normally have a canopy right to the end of the platform, do I? Uh, misc, what else have we got? Put some, put some benches in down there, which I haven't done actually. I don't think I've put, don't think I've put any benches in Leeds. That's a bit unfortunate for the passengers waiting, isn't it? So let's fix that now. Just chuck in some, uh, some benches. Give the passengers somewhere to sit. Not, not that I think they, I don't think they actually sit on the benches, do they? I don't know. Right, chuck some down there, on there. 
on this side as well chugging along and we'll extend we'll extend nope that's that's definitely the old one <laughs> that's not the right one is it no nope. oh dear I can't find the, the point at which you can delete that's the one right so let's try the modern canopy that's a little bit better isn't it right now the tricky bit here is getting the track all into into here now that I don't think we need that let's get rid of this retaining wall as well now what we need to just make sure on the exit here we've got a switch there and a switch there let's let's just attach the tracks together and then we'll see what we need to do so I think what I will do with this is just bring this section into here oh, yep yeah, like that no maybe not from, if we come from there so it is always it is always best to start from the track actually when you're doing a switch rather than trying to merge a switch into it I find anyway now it does can't really put any signalization on anywhere I don't think let's just see what the services are doing now we've got these ones here what have we got just the ones we can see just the rail services please we still got loads we can see so I don't think the Chester to Leeds is going to come down I think it's this one isn't it can it switch over to those oh yes it can but what we're gonna do Bradford Bradford Hall Chester Leeds Leeds to Dent maybe you can go on to the new so what we've we got Chester Leeds to Dent you can go on new on the new platform eight see if that works yeah that's fine good Leeds to Ilkley Leeds to Ilkley yeah <laughs> confusing myself so Leeds to Ilkley Leeds Leeds to Ilkley that one no I'm, I'm clicking on completely the wrong thing let's see if we can find the services you want where are you you go on platform seven that's a little bit better yeah because we we had two platforms with at the minute four services on which you know is quite a lot especially because they're reversing as well so they just dwell on the platforms and we didn't want to pause the get unpause the game did we no we didn't right get rid of all this road here do a little bit of demolition to leads unfortunately all this and we want what do we want when do we want it now bust lane along here now do i want a side entrance configure i think i might do i know we haven't got an underpass so passengers will have to walk around but i think i do want a, a side entrance just just because and it is under passenger building isn't it right at the end just just some steps i know they're probably not there in real life but just i'm going yeah other end helps with passenger flow a little bit now before i do that actually i want to put wall there a wall there just to make it look a little bit better and then we'll go to passenger building and then we'll put so i'm still let me put steps on where the no nope, where the wall is like that good sorted now we can get on and put our road in place and we're going to do four lane road with bus lanes just down here like like that get rid of this yeah we, d we are doing quite a significant amount of demolition and then we're going to put a road back in no bus lane junction coming off there a little bit of a curve and then just join that join that back up with that like that now will this let's see now if we carry that on let no that's it is going to look quite bad right so connect that up with no we use use straight road good connect that up with that and then just straight up there it's going to be quite oh that's not too bad actually we will take it and then a little bit more demolition of leads it will all grow back eventually and then we'll just chuck some some roads in try and encourage some more some new development around here and then that can curve off to there and then we want our no 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 one of them and then extend this off up here and then we're gonna have to upgrade that to bus lane aren't we because we didn't put bus lane on it so that should all be fine doesn't do one another another road in there not, not with a bus lane I always forget to turn that off and on when I need to and then just put that in there so our bus stop was around here so I'll put the bus stop where the steps are I think so where is where is this I don't think we've got any does him yeah, how do uh, ooh, that's interesting I've never noticed that before right now oh, this could I really did need to revisit Leeds didn't I I've done a rubbish job of it now can I get rid of these platforms and replace them is it just gonna is it gonna be easy because we want NL yeah good because I know when you remove track segments it makes it awkward for you now just thinking is there are there underpasses 
There's more, more, oh that's right. Good gracious. This, this station is a mess, isn't it? It certainly is, right. Get rid of all the platforms. Well, these, these segments anyway. Now I think what's happened there is I've used the underpass and it obviously the underpass isn't compatible with the NL platform segment so what it's done is it reverted it back to the standard segments which is a little bit annoying and never really noticed it so what we want to do is we want an over some steps over the top don't we do I want them bad yeah we'll have on both sides like so not sure I, just, I think I know why I did that it's because of the roof isn't it because of the glass roof ha huh. right no, not to worry. It's not the end of the world. We can, the NL does have its own underpass. So we, yeah, we're going to have to use an underpass, unfortunately. But it's not, it's not the end of the world. And you're blooming segments as well, aren't you? Cause that's because again, I've used the underpass. So get rid of you, and no, you're just your fine pass platform. This was only supposed to be a five-minute job. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just a mess. Right, underpass, nice and easy. I think I will. I know there probably isn't one. In real life but I will add an underpass segment here can I just get rid of the yeah that's better so underpass segment in there that's all fine that's still <laughs> get rid of that and that and that then we put the platform back in and I will put put another segment underpass in there right I think I think that's it now yeah because the reason I didn't use the, the steps which would be a little bit more realistic is because of the roof isn't it because it's not compatible with the modular roof unfortunately so that is that and we've still got one more no we don't we've got loads more yeah so i made a right old mess of that station but that's all fixed now hopefully the bus route is fixed now yeah that's that's all fine that goes up there turns round, comes back again good unpause the game and we haven't broken anything and hopefully that should hopefully improve things a little bit around Leeds station so we've got the extra platform there and then we'll head up to Bradford because we want to put Foster Square in now get rid of you I think we're going to do all of this as well get rid of that and that and then we're just going to go buildings we're going to go NL does NL have a doesn't have a terminus so We'll use the new one with a really short platform just so I can just so I know there's enough room to get the passenger building up to the road and actually before I do that I'm just gonna upgrade this because it's gonna be a bus stop at some point and we want that there, we want that at street level and then we're gonna configure this and delete everything. Just everything, we don't need that. Platforms and L again, because looking at it, uh, this is a relatively modern looking station. I just haven't said that tracks tracks first or something like that so I think was it four segments maybe that's probably more than enough and then platforms along here and along here and then I think it has got three tracks we, we're not going to use all three tracks but I'm going to put them in anyway and then just put that track down there nothing particularly special pa 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 passenger building nope that's fences passenger building platform just want a little oh is it not let me put a little I'm going to have to delete the road. Configure. I just want a little. That's too wide. Right, if we get rid of... Get rid of that. Maybe if we put two of them a little bit offset. But that's not the end of the world. It doesn't look too bad like that, does it? Probably could make that platform wider to balance it out. But I think I'll just leave it. And then, will that just let me put that on there? Like so. A couple of bus stops. And we are done. Pretty easy, really. Now what am I doing? Delete. Delete all this track and then just straight into the no not on a not on a viaduct just straight into there too much slope too much slope right okay then right all the way back here then too much slope oh yeah that is quite quite a lot of slope actually isn't it trying to get up to there and i'm not not overly impressed with these viaducts either i think i might get rid of that one if i'm honest as i always do just straight into there and straight into the wrong platform of course right back again straight into there into the correct platform with a horrible looking embankment but I will obviously fix that so we're gonna want a piece of track coming in and a switch and then another switch on the on there and then just basic signal signal yeah one way 
leading in like so. Nothing particularly complicated about that. Do a little bit of fettling with the terrain around here. Well again I'll do all of this terrain work off camera. Just do a little bit now. Now having said that we can actually put this to some use can't we? So if you do that put a road in underneath. Not in a, not in a tunnel. You don't need to be in a tunnel. Put that on there. A little bit of work with the terrain. Bring the track in straight over the top and we'll go actually having said that no we'll yeah we'll do that and then what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna do that little gonna have to do that little trick where I can force a little node I'm not sure yeah they're definitely they're called nodes as well on this aren't they I know they're definitely called nodes on city skylines and what that does just allows us to no we don't want to do that do we no no we don't right put the track back in and then get rid of that yeah so that's left a node in there good get rid of that it is a little bit oh no I've done it deleted the wrong thing it is a little bit long-winded just to try and achieve a better girder bridge but I just don't like having really long spans on the girder bridges if I can help it it's a bit a bit unnecessary bridge bridge collision bridge, bridge what collision no and damn done what I've wanted to do right bring that into there bring this into there like that I think that's done what I wanted good yeah it is a little bit little bit higher than it needs to be and then get rid of that and I think what I will do actually is just raise this road up a little bit maybe even a little bit more actually what does that look like yeah that's still still quite high but it's not like ridiculously so is it and then we just want to just a nice girder bridge that's all I want really across there then I think what I'll do is I'll just quickly mess with this terrain a little bit right so I've done a little bit of work with the terrain and I just want to put in a one of these no that's the wall one two middle and then something like that yep that look that looks all right that will do and obviously i'll have to do some work with the terrain now i need to put that switch back in don't i before i forget because i will forget let's chuck that in 65 55 on the out there that's fine and then just a one-way signal into there. I don't think we need any more signals on that section. I'm not entirely sure how many services are going to be using this. Let's see what we've done to the buses. The bus is completely broken. What's that? Leeds. There was a there was a bus around here, but I've completely broke. Is that what's that? That's a is that a bus route? Where's it? Where are you going? You're going to Huddersfield. Now this should be a a what? something actually that that service can act as a bit of a because i did the i'm not sure if you anybody's watched it yeah i did the bus tutorial just explain a little bit about bus routes and i towards the end i talked about hybrid bus routes which use both a combination of intercity and shuttle and this actually if it'll actually let me see it which i don't think it's gonna is it because it's i can see it there just i am on buses aren't i buses right ah oh, that's all that's better Okie dokie, so this is broken, so this can be a hybrid service acting as a shuttle between Bradford Halt, it's called, and Bradford Interchange, and then it wants to go into, actually, yeah, that, that should be fine, and then it comes into to Huddersfield, like that. So it acts as a shuttle and as a intercity route connecting those two places. You are on the wrong one, you want to be on two, that's better would be nice actually if it went out the back a little bit because all it means is the route if it's in general in city buses make profit and my shuttles don't but if you kind of combine the two you can almost cut your losses and even in some cases make a little bit of profit as well so it's just something you can do so if I do that the bus is going to come up here come up that one get rid of that I'm going to mess the route up again and I'm going to do it from scratch and then bus station there Actually, it would have been nice if I turned on the man lion coaches, wouldn't it? Right, so that and that down to Huddersfield. Does it need a... Maybe we can have a bus stop up here as well. I think we'll have a bus stop there. Is that a ridiculous hill? No, there should be. Actually, it's a little bit ugly, though. It's not ridiculous, but it's ugly. Right, so that's coming down. Green Lane to there, to there, and then back again. Well, I've been said that I could probably do with building a another extending this one out because that's just duplicating a route then isn't it put that in there and instead of going to where are you going to lower Huddersfield Manchester Road to there instead yeah it's probably not going to make any money if I'm honest 
but oh, why are you going all over the place? Right, so terminals. Oh, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to do this again. Okie dokie. So I am making the easiest of tasks seem quite difficult today, aren't I? But what I'm going to do is just upgrade the roads to bus lanes. I know there's not a, a massive amount of traffic to really worry about, but I would like them to be bus lanes nevertheless, just in case we do start to suffer with some traffic. So all of these bus lane locks just about let me put a bus lane in there. Two nose. Can't put one in there, but that's fine. I can't put one there either. Not to worry. It should be all right. And then I think actually we will upgrade this again. I don't think there's a huge amount of traffic, but we don't want my buses to be held up by private vehicles. Is there much traffic? No, it's pretty light really. Now, how many vehicles do we actually have on this route? Not enough. Do we have a bus station? No, we don't. Buildings. Yeah, I think I might turn on the man line coaches for this because they are actually having said that I think these have got a top speed of 62 so no it, it just doesn't matter now what I have done actually just interesting point I did have the uh, selection of buses like the right bus reskin and the Plaxton pointer but they had capacities of like 40 and 44 which is just like I've still got them actually the Plaxton pointer and the first Barbie 40 44 which is in terms of game balance massive and obviously that's quite expensive so I'm I've replaced all of the buses with the Mercedes-Benz Sitaro C2, which have 26. I know I don't really have to worry about money, really, but I do want to try and reduce the losses as much. I know I've got 82 billion in the bank, so I don't really need to worry too much. But it is just—it's a bit of a waste, isn't it? Having buses with 44 capacity running round half empty. So that's what I've done. And there's only a couple of well, no, there's a handful of um, UK reskins by. DV64 MLO, but there's only kind of one diamond northwest. He has planning to do some more, but we haven't got those yet, so I'm just using the plane. I've got some diamond northwest ones on the routes, which were Arriva, and the other routes are just plain white ones, which have been recolored to uh, to whatever colour I decided. So I know Stagecoach isn't really fully orange in real life, but Stagecoach is orange, and First is pink. Although having said that, I don't think First has been pink for quite some time it's gone to more of a purpley color now isn't it let's just before i move on because this was only supposed to be a quick job 91 seconds that'll do so that's linking huddersfield and bradford and acting as a little bit of a shuttle at the same time which is all good 91 seconds i think is is more than fast enough and bradford does look a little bit of a mess but i'm going to do that later anyway what i want to do now is a bradford foster square two to Leeds. Now I just want to double check that actually. Yeah, there's a Leeds, a Skipton and an Ilkley, so into Leeds. No, that's not not let me not let me do that. Have I tried to do something? Have I actually we'll rename this station as well before we move on. So this is Brad is it Bradford Foster Square or is it just Foster Square? It is Bradford Foster Square. Bradford Foster Square. No, it's not even for Foster, it's Forster. Is it pronounced Forster or Foster? don't know someone will probably tell me in the comments if how it's pronounced but yeah I've, I had spelled that wrong so that's corrected right so back to why why is this broken there uh, let's do it from scratch it shouldn't be any issue because is there there's a junction there that's all electrified that shouldn't be any problem let's make sure we're clicking on the right station so Bradford what had I not Bradford better and then add another station and we're gonna click I'll make sure we're clicking on leads good now, the only problem is it's going to be a northern service, isn't it? But we've we've pretty much used every single... Oh, yeah, so this is a northern... Uh, what's Bradford? We don't know. So it's a BDQ to LDS. And we need to change the colour. Have we got like a really dark blue? I know we... No, very light blue. Just to set it apart from that one. So that's... That's that one. And then we want a... Forster Square to North Road. <laughs> Def no, it definitely doesn't want to be to North Road. Or, is that, or have I not named the station? Nope, luckily that's the one. So that is a Northern BDQ to Ilk, is it? A-L-I-L-K? Yes, it is. And that can be a dark blue because that doesn't clash with anything. 
and then there is a Bradford to Skipton. Now the only problem with that is, is I don't think I've put a switch in here and I haven't electrified the line either or the station so I need to do that don't I. So, so electrify you, electrify all of this and then the, I think also there is a Leeds to Skipton service which obviously is a, an electric service which must terminate I guess at Skipton because I don't think the electrification goes any further so that's that that's why we needed the extra two platforms two bay, two bay platforms at that lead so new line add so you're just going to be skipped in straight into Leeds, aren't you and then we need another so that is a northern probably we don't really technically need the service but it does exist so I think what I'll do is I'll just put a couple of trains on or maybe one or two that's SKI to LBS and what colour are we going to use for this? Is a very, very, very light blue? <laughs> Maybe. And then we want a new line. This, just putting this station in and electrifying this route has allowed us to put in, you know, quite a number of services. So we've got a northern BDQ to, uh, what did I get? SKI, Skipton. Zoom right in and just make sure we've got a colour which sets it apart from the others. Just double check. It definitely was a Skipton, wasn't there? Yeah, so we've got those three services. That'll make Skipton grow quite a lot, won't it, potentially? And I think what we want is... I think I'll just chuck one in here. Do we need any more signals? I think, yeah, we're going to need some some uh, signals on the run-up to Skipton, definitely. Right, so let's just let's just chuck it. Make sure we've got one way selected. Double-check that I've electrified all the right bits of the track. A couple of... I know the... for some reason... The track is a little bit off centre, the catenary's gone a little bit weird, but it's not the end of the world, is it? So I'll just chuck some of these in, and we want another signal. Have I put both of those? Yes, I have. So we want a signal in there, and actually, we want a signal leading into the station because there's going to be trains reversing at Skipton. I think I just want one more signal. I know we don't need them all, but I just prefer to have a nice a block section which is relatively close so we're not queuing trains too far outside of stations. I know I've said that plenty of times before. Run into Leeds, maybe one more. Nope, that's that's definitely on the wrong side. Yeah, that should be enough. And I think one more, maybe on the run up to Ilkley. I've got a signal there. I've got obviously we've got turn back facilities there. That's all fine. Now I am using actually on these routes. I'm using this colour scheme. I'm not sure if they're still using it or if they've been rebranded. But I think I might actually use these. 321s because what I've been using the 323s haven't I for many many routes I think I'll use the 321s actually I'm not sure again I'm not sure if they've been repainted now we've got what I wanted to do what I was thinking was putting just a thing a depot here just I think it's just easier for scheduling the trains that I need to schedule for the service so I'm going to put that on there we've got all our routes that's that's done quite a lot actually Bradford probably will grow quite a lot and then we haven't done the airport yet have we i know that's not rail connected but we can do a shuttle bus into there but yeah that's quite good we've done the new platforms i think what i'll do is i'll schedule all of these trains i've got quite a few routes to schedule and i'll leave you with the run from skipton down into the re the redone lead station so that should be quite interesting i know i haven't done any journeys at the end of the videos for quite some time so i will uh, i'll put one of those on or maybe maybe no the run out from um from Bradford maybe but I will do some train work I will schedule those trains and then I will do the run-up from Bradford into the redone lead station which hopefully should look better now it should do now I've fixed it so there we are good done quite a lot in this episode actually done a little bit with buses and whatnot so there we are I'll leave you with the run-up from Bradford Forster or Foster Square <laughs> tell me in the comments and into Leeds but I'm going to leave it there for today say until next time bye bye